I had just uh, experienced the biggest um, uh, commercial uh, disaster of my career in a record called The Ballad of Sally Rose, which I wrote and then took on the road at great expense to recreate the entire album um, in its entirety and came uh, back to Nashville. I was exhausted from it. and. And my husband Paul at the time, who was just always such a great champion and, and encourager of me and my music, he said, you know what, let's just get some people uh, over and just sing some old gospel songs. We talked to Carl and uh, we got Emery Gordy, uh, my, my bass player from, the hot, from earlier Hot Band days, uh, and this guy named Vince Gill. Um, and we just sat around in the barn and we would just we just recorded Angel Band. And it still remains to this day probably the purest record that I've ever done. I think we had um, we had one overdub and that was we brought in Mike Aldridge because we wanted Dobro and sort of we wanted the best. And so we brought Mike Aldridge. I think that was the only overdub we did on that record. And uh, pretty much um, Carl was doing the guitar playing. He's beautiful. He's brilliant, beautiful acoustic guitar player. I just love to hear him play. Um, and Vince is a pretty good acoustic guitar player too. But he had to play the mandolin, and he jokes sometimes that every 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 intro and every break he took was exactly the same. But it worked. We weren't really doing that as an album project for release. We were. Um, it was just going to be a Christmas present for friends. But then, uh, later on, uh, I actually uh, presented it to Warner Brothers as my next album um, because it did turn out so well. Um, and they wanted me to add some stuff to it, and I said, no, you, you're not. It's, this is like a string of pearls. You, you can't really mess with it. It's perfect the way it is.